Hi, no surprises here. Got the box. This is my first one. I was on the wait list and I uh, signed up for it. I heard about it uh, from a couple of different YouTubers uh, like uh, the Evil Stepmother and Just Ann. There are a couple of girls that I started watching and then I started seeing a lot of other girls getting uh, the items. So with that said, let's go through this. It came beautifully packaged like this in the box. Uh, everything inside, I got it very late in the day yesterday, uh, closer to the evening. For some reason, the mail was very late last night. And I decided to go through some of it to do a little bit of research uh, because I knew I would want to film it right away first thing in the morning. So a little later in the day today, but with that said, uh, I'm gonna get to this now. So it came, uh, like I said, in this box uh, with the uh, label uh, on it. Uh, inside was beautifully, beautifully packaged. Um, it came with tissue paper, with the box, really everything was placed beautifully, nothing was broken, everything was nice. On the inside of the box, they, they're they really uh, self-promoting themselves very well. They say they want a free box, uh, share your unboxing experience, and tag us at shopfinista, hashtag fashion sta, uh, for a chance to win a free monthly box. The um, this was a $19.99 box. It has, I think, about seven full-size products. And some are brands I never heard of, which is what I love about uh, boxes. And, and it gives you an opportunity to try a lot of brands that maybe you weren't familiar with. So it's really a win-win. So for $20, I figured I would give this a shot. I found it very hard to find out a lot of information about this company. Um, but I figured for $19, uh, I would give it a, a shot and see uh, if you know, because I have this channel now, I was willing to take more of a, of a gamble to see if I would get it and everything worked out great. So went on the wait list, which um, I think they're, they're new with this. I've only seen one other unboxing uh, of, of the box. So I don't know if this is only their second box and maybe their third, but it's really brand, brand new. Um, with that said, I went on the wait list after the wait list. Um, I think a couple of weeks later, uh, I got a notification. I responded immediately to it. Uh, and then I got an email back confirming that I was off the wait list. So they said I would get my first box in the month of August. I finally got some tracking from them around the middle of August. I was seeing a lot of people opening up being, opening their boxes, but they might have already been, you know, in the system from the previous month. You know, maybe the new people were getting it later in the month, which is what I assumed. And uh, I got it uh, uh, late last night. I think yesterday was around the 22nd of August. So uh, I just finished uh, doing the uh, filming of the uh, Battle of the Boxes. So this will definitely not be in there. It didn't give me enough time in the month. I didn't get it early enough to be able to uh, test all the products out. But with that said, uh, I did do a little research last night uh, that I marked on the card that came in here. What's great about their card is it says uh, the prices, which are the suggested retails, because some of the items um, are, uh, I found them a little bit less expensive, but that could just be that there's a sale going on right now, or these are uh, not new uh, products like this, the, the uh, eyeshadow palette I've seen before, but they have different volumes. Um, so it might just be something like that. Anyways, the total retail of this box is $158. I will tell you what the suggested retails are as we go through it. But like I said, there's seven full-size products in here. So it makes the cost of each product less than $3 each. So to me, it wasn't much of a gamble. Wanted to give it a shot and, uh, you know, help a, a new company uh, get their, uh, their box out there. And if I could help a little bit with that, I will. I did not... Um, subscribe to them with any uh, links as far as it being a true wants box. I bought it under my personal, uh, everything personal, so I didn't sign up with any links or anything that a lot of uh, other YouTubers uh, did, but they're more well established. And because this is brand new, um, I wanted to test it out for myself and then let you guys decide if it's something you're interested in, then you'll go to the website exactly like I did without going through any links that I would leave down below because I want you guys to make your opinion of it the same way that I did. So with that said, the name of the company is, uh, is uh, Fashion Sta. It's S-T-A. Uh, their website is called Shop Fashion Sta. And that's that. So 
let's go through this so you guys can see what I got in my box. Some of the items look similar to what other people got and some were a little bit different and that's what makes these unboxing videos a lot of fun to do. So with that said, the first item that's on this sheet is the Beauty Blender. It is the mid-size one. I do have the small guy and I do have the regular one, but I never got the mid-size one simply being that they recommend this to be used uh, for cream blushers and I never really use clean brushers. Blushers, I've done it with my fingers and I never liked the outcome of them, but so really excited to have this, so definitely gonna give that a shot. This they are saying is a retail value, suggested retail value of $16. They're saying it's their mid-size applicator. It's designed to deliver seamless blend, um, perfecting amount of blush onto your cheek. So really, really excited to give that a shot and Beauty Blender is a really good brand. The other thing is their website had a lot of um, well-known brands on it as well, so it gave me that comfort zone so that if I would want to um, get the box, I knew a lot of the items were gonna be ones that I can repurchase if I wanted to, but there were also brands on their website that I was familiar with, so that made it made it a little more comfortable for me to, to join the, uh, the wait list. Okay, the next item in here was, and the next item in here came in a retail box like this, and it is a spray, it says it's for face and body, but I would I would recommend it to solely be used for your body. The reason being, a lot of stuff that's in their website, oh, and this product is from Australia, so fantastic. So this one has a retail value of $18. It's called the Soothe Operator. Uh, it says it's a magical concoction. It's formulated with soothing aloe vera juices, calming witch hazel. It's infused with vitamin C, um, desert limes, uh, it says, whether it's used on after sun or a beauty mist, this Soothe Operator will leave your skin feeling plump and hydrated. Now with that said, I uh, sprayed this on my arm and I'll show it you guys. It, the spray is very similar to the Pixie uh, spray, if you're familiar with the Pixie mist. I also have a video that I did about the my favorite Pixie uh, spray bottles. I really enjoy them. So this reminded me of that. So this is how fine the mist is. But with that said, the reason I said that I would use this on my body and not on my face, it did leave a little bit of a tacky feeling, which could be the aloe vera juice that's in here. It did leave a tackiness. And this, the aroma of this is very aloe vera. You definitely smell the limes. It's, it's, a, it's a scent I've never smelt before, but it doesn't uh, dissipate. So. It's gonna stay on your body for, I think, over an hour or so because I sprayed it uh, after um, my day yesterday and I just to test it out and I was still smelling it about an hour later. So with that said, that's why I would recommend that for, but I think what this would be really great for is you, if you've been in the, the sun all day and you've been outside all day and been at the beach or whatever, this I think is fantastic for, you know, to help the skin, because aloe vera is fantastic to use uh, after the sun. So that I think would be really great. And the fact that it's in a mist, I think is phenomenal. So like I said, that's an $18 product and it's from Australia. The other product that was in the box is also from Australia. This is the box. It's called a uh, lip glow and the company is Hendrix, but the name of this is salt. So it says salt by Hendrix. It's in a glass little container. It is a bomb for the lips. It is not the type, I don't know if I would use the word gloss. I know that's in their name and, and the color that they sent me is in Rockstar Pink. And the, um, I, I tried to, it's that consistency that you really have to put your finger in to get the product out. It's not that uh, glossy, you know, sticky, it's really a, like very bombish. So I love that type of product and I like using that type of product uh, at night as a lip treatment overnight because it doesn't like go all over your face. It actually stays on your lips and they're saying that this has argan oil in it and argan oil is really great. So like I said, this is also made in Australia. Let me do a little, it's very hard to see. It's a very faint pink, but like I said, it's not, um, it's just moisturizing, hydrating. It's not glossy. So that's really cool. So this one, another brand I didn't know about, it's called Brimming with Organic Ahoba Oil Nourishing Shea Butter. Uh, this lip color moisturizes, dehydrates lips, leaving your pout with a high gloss and a healthy glow. So 
that is definitely something I'm gonna try and use. The next item I was really excited about getting because it was from the brand called Sigma. Sigma is a brand that I'm only familiar with because of YouTube, uh, a lot of their brushes, and they seem to be a higher end uh, brush. This product, however, is made in China, and it is uh, called Aurora Powder, and the color that I got is in a color that's called Pet Name. So, uh, it doesn't say, it just says it's a face powder. It's not saying it's a blusher, and it's not saying it's a finishing powder. It's saying it's just simply a face powder. So, that's the packaging on the back. It comes with a beautiful mirror up there. And then on this side is the actual color of the product. It's a very light peach. Um, I think this would be great on the days that you want to um, wear your BB creams and things like that. So it would add a little bit of definition, but like you can see, it's pretty light. So really excited to try it. No fallout at all when I dipped my uh, hand into it. And let's just see what they wrote here. They say, add dimension, warmth, or color to your face in a gentle contour with these huge pans for perfectly pigmented pressed powder. So um, to me, it's, it's, it's a very, very light powder. I think darker skin tones, darker than me, I think it's gonna be hard to even see it on me. And I'm like a light medium medium, but never had anything else from Sigma. And like I said, seven products for $19.99 all full size. To try a product for less than $3, this is the way to do it. So excited about that. The next item is from a company called Gerlactic. Now Gerlactic is a brand that I've tried uh, once before. I think I got it in BoxyCharm. They were the ones who introduced me to it. And uh, the one that I got from BoxyCharm was a cream blusher that half was a blusher and half was a cream highlighter. So I'm gonna try it with the blusher um, beauty blender and see if I can enjoy it more than I did in the past because it kind of went to the back of the drawer. So I'm gonna try that again because this brand also is a really good brand. This is not an inexpensive product. This is made in the USA and it is a $23 product. It says it's a long lasting matte lip paint liquid lipstick. It says the it's a color rich formula that's weightless on the lips and delivers long lasting coverage that's transfer proof with no cracking and or bleeding. So I did put this on for a little bit first thing today. I was planning on, on wearing it and then I said I wanted to have a lighter lip than this was. This came across, um, and I'm gonna see if I could put it on a paper because <laughs> when I put it on the back of my hand, it took me forever. I tried a bomb to get it off. I tried my purity to get it off. I tried to exfoliate it off. And I literally only had it on for maybe 10 minutes. So, um, and that was when I had it just on my hand. So you have to be um, committed that this is something you're gonna wanna stay and that's positive and you know, that, that if you're gonna wanna wear something all day long and not have it budge or anything, this is, this is the product there. But the color that it came across to me, I'm gonna put it on this paper, is very similar to uh, one of the first products that I got from Kylie's brands with that brownish tan uh, undertone. So that's what it looks like there. And um, they're saying it's not gonna transfer and they're saying, which <laughs> I can tell you it doesn't. Uh, it says it's transfer proof and it says it has no cracking and no bleeding. It makes sense because with no transfer, it can't bleed because it's gonna stay wherever you put it. So you just gotta be very careful when you put it on. But like I said, if that's a color that, that's great for you. Um, let me see if the color is written anywhere on here because it's not written on the box. So. Uh, yeah, there's something written on the bottom here. This is in the color sweet. Okay, and once again, that's what the color looks in the tube, and that's it's a little bit darker when it's put on the paper. Okay, so that's that there. The next item was one that I saw that everybody was getting in their box, and it's a, a expensive eye primer. I think the value of it was around thirty-two dollars, and it was from this company called Air Atelier. And I assumed it was gonna be a product from Paris or France, and uh, it's not. It's a USA brand, and uh, the packaging is beautiful. It comes where the product is right inside here, and it's this little tube that came out here. And it is an eye primer. I love eye primers. The saying is 
it says on the actual tube here that it's a color lock and it's crease free. It, what I like about it is it comes with the actual applicator. Um, I enjoy my Urban Decay, however, I like the Urban Decay better with the one that comes with the applicator than the one we all got introduced to in the little tube. Um, because I don't, I, I like putting this on with an applicator and I think I'm going to enjoy this. This is a little bit thicker formula than uh, other eye primers that I have. Not as thick as the MAC uh, pots, but um, but thinner than, uh, thicker than the Urban Decay uh, eye primer. That's what you're used to. Um, and then there's the CoverGirl eye primer that I've been using and it's a little bit thicker than that, but similar to, to it there. So when I put it on um, my hand earlier today, just to, to feel it out, um, it left a really smooth, um, I was really, really impressed with it. it it's a silky feeling. It was really, really smoothing. I, I enjoyed it. But $32 for an eye primer is a little bit steep, but I'm definitely happy that I'm getting to try it in a $19.99 box. So that uh and it's clear there's no tint to it it looked like it would have a little bit of a tint but it doesn't it comes on very clear and it's very very soft and it says here on the card it's a high performance eye primer designed to absorb oil and lock down eyeshadow and eyeliner is formulated with skin loving antioxidants in a sheer peach tint and works with every skin tone apply to the clean lid blend with your finger or your applicator your choice before applying any of your shadows your eyeliners so with that said I'm happy it's in the box. The next item is uh, an eyeshadow palette. And I love getting eyeshadow palettes in the box because BoxyCharm spoiled us with that. So this box had one and it is from the company called Real Her. The suggested retail on this is $28. This is also a product out of China. With that said, on the back of the package here, it says right there, it says it's vegan, Cruel, certified cruelty free, sulfate free, tack free, long wear, paraben free. And just from listening to, you know, Jen Loves Reviews and a couple of other of the strong YouTubers that do a lot of, you know, um, knowledgeable uh, reviews with ingredients and all that, I was under the impression that something was made in China, it couldn't be um, cruelty free and all that. So it says on the box here that it is. Um, I went on their website. These palettes now are on sale for around 19 something. Um, they're saying the suggested retail on here is $28. They have a lot of different volumes on it. Uh, last night, I took a quick look after I got the box uh, to see who the most recent one who got a box to see if I was gonna get similar products. And it was, uh, who did I find? Oh, Southern Mum. So much fun. So watched her and uh, she got number four and number four looked like it had more of the warm tones, had some really great rust and oranges. It was really a pretty palette. This one is in number two. I initially got introduced to the real eyeshadow palettes from BoxyCharm. It was one, in, one of the first uh, palettes that I got. The one that I got from them was in uh, volume one. Um, I wasn't crazy about this one and I double checked last night and this one, it was very, very neutral and um, there was a little bit of kick up and it kind of went to the back of my drawer. It didn't have enough vibrancy for it. With that said, I did um, test some of these products out and there's definitely an upgrade in the formula that they're using. I will swatch these for you. Um, it, it impressed me a lot more than the one that we got a long time ago in the BoxyCharm. So um, this is the palette here. It does have a full mirror on the other side. And these are the colors that are in this one. Very fall, um, but there is a mixture of um, mattes and shimmers. And I think this one down here might even be a metallic. So it's really a nice array of colors. And I'm going to swatch them on my fingers here and I'll do three at a time. Top row is called uh, Driven, Limitless and Invincible. Those are the top three. That's what they look like here. And they went on very smooth with zero fallout. That's how pretty those colors were. So definitely found a big difference in the number two versus the number one. So. Uh, if you know you're interested and you want to go to their website, which is you know called Real Her, um, 
definitely I wouldn't recommend volume one, but if volume two changed, I'm sure all the other volumes uh, might be as, just as good. So here's the middle area. This one is bodacious, uh, dazzling, and indomitable. And those are the three colors there. So like I said, very um, fallish, but really pretty and no fallout at all. Really, really pretty. And you would definitely, I'm just wiping my fingers in between. You would definitely see the fallout um, because it is a black palette, so it would show up right away. So the next three that we're gonna be doing are on the bottom here. The names are fantastic. It's awesome, terrific, and unshakable. And those are the three there, and I'll put them right above. Really, really pretty. So that's the whole palette. So it's very earth toned, very cool toned. Um, like I said, you have your difference, you have your shimmers, your metallics, everything there. So really nice. So excited to try this. And uh, when I initially saw it, I wasn't because I my first uh, impressions was, I think I remember that brand and it's in the back of my drawer. So um, wasn't looking forward to trying it, but that's why it's great to get the boxes because companies are constantly improving their, their products. And um, it was, it's, to me, it's, it's always good to give it a, a second chance. And when you give something a second chance, uh, it's easier when it's in a 1999, one of, one of a product in a 1999 than try and get for $19 on its own. So they're saying the value of this is 28. So even on sale at $19, this on its own is $19 on sale. And I got the whole box for 1999, including freight. So with that said, um, really happy. Uh, very, very happy. It's uh, products I'm not familiar with, so it's products that I'm going to try, which is what I love about boxes, that they introduce you to products, and sometimes you get in here a product from a company that you wanted to try, but you didn't um, want to spend you know, the full retail on it until you've tried it. So excited about that as well. On the other side of the card here, they have a cute little saying. I'll just read it out to you. They're just saying, warning, the contents of this box may cause extreme excitement. You've scored 100 to 150 worth of products you will enjoy and love. They want to personally welcome uh, everybody to the Glam Fam. It's consciously curated collection of classic brands, the unveiling of new emerging brands, which I agree, box delivered to your door each month. Very exciting. And then they actually have the name of the CEO. I tried to check and see if I can get any information on him, and there really wasn't much. Um, but they also have a, a coupon code here on the bottom. I don't know if you saw that. It is called Box30, and it says treat yourself to 30% off. Use the code Box30 at fashionstasta.com. And it's just, there's a very, very small print on the bottom that says it excludes, you know, from the price of the box and other items that are in there. So if you go on their site and you put it the, when you go to check out, try the box 30. And if it works, great, you got the 30% off. So that's the story there. With that said, very happy that I, I signed up for it. Happy that I'm going to be getting it. Like I said, it's $19.99 free shipping. If the wait list is uh, what's available now, that's how I got on. So definitely uh, join the wait list and then do your research, see, watch other videos, see if anyone else has more information than I do on this. And uh, it's fun. Makeup is fun. And getting subscription boxes is fun. So definitely happy I was able to share that with you guys. So with that said, Please subscribe, it's the red button down below. I would love to have you part of True Wants, as well as leave me a comment if this 1999 The Box uh, is something you're interested in. And if you have any information on it, I would love the conversation to get opened on there in the comments. Please also give me a thumbs up because that's what YouTube likes to see if you're enjoying my content. And we'll take it from there. So. Once again, thanks for finding me. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.